Hey, good morning, Pip. This is Coach Bill. Glad you're back. Day 13. Today we're talking about leverage. Okay, let's get uh, right into it. So, uh, once again, we want to go back over those seven functional skills, always touching on each one of those as we're building our swing, as we're building our 100-100 uh, swing, our physical efficiency work. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and pick any of the stretch drills that you want to do. You know, we've done the split grip, we've done the mill lot, tap the stomps. Uh, any of those would work. Uh, then go ahead and hit a momentum drill. Okay, so the step behind or a step in, uh, the A-rod drill. So anything that is going to allow you to create backside release, we're looking for that. And then the bulk of today's work is in that idea of leverage okay and that's where we're trying to work against that back foot please make sure you're not pushing up uh that your knee would not cross the midline of your back foot if it gets over that back foot you're probably going to start to see some spinning in place okay and we're trying to avoid that we're trying to work against that back foot we're trying to get forward into rotation forward into rotation we're trying to create a good angle off that backside with a good slack pull control that midline and work to the to the landing correct so first thing that we can do is wedge which is going to really which is actually a momentum drill but we're working it here as a leverage drill because it's going to give us the feel of what leverage is at the top of a move okay so uh, we're looking for a wedge we're adapting it just a little bit right so this could be one where you might just pull that knee up a little higher straighter than you normally would but again understand and please make sure you always contrast this drill uh, with your regular swing okay then we can uh, proceed we can do the babe ruth drill which is a uh, big time uh leverage drill uh, again it's got some momentum uh working into it and then uh, one of my favorites is always the pull host drill where the hitter is going to begin okay so we're going to have that hitter take his stride or his tap or whatever and he's going to get that foot to the air if you're a no strider just work with me here because we still have to create that leverage uh what we're trying to do here then is we're going to control the fall we're going to control that midline okay and what i like about the drill here is we can uh um progress this drill as if we were uh early on a pitch and we can get that front foot down solidly solidly into the ground okay so make sure that uh that we can run through those three areas um on the pull host drill and then just head back we have our absorption uh i would do the ot drill with uh, with the basketball you got sweet spot uh today maybe go ahead have a little bit of fun um use a small barrel if you're using baseballs uh if you have the small ball or the golf ball the little rubber balls the sponge balls uh you go ahead swing uh swing a broomstick for all that matters okay uh and then back to our body timing i want to stay right in the path that we've been working on hit our front toss right our 60 70 80 drill which is percentage wise work your way up then work your way or excuse me work your way down then work your way back up uh, based on you know what we would be seeing uh, speed wise i sort of got confused there so the three bat drill off the front toss this is the 60 70 80 drill so uh, a pitch that you would feel is like if this is on a tee at 60 a pitch at like 70 and a pitch at like 80 all right if we're front tossing it we most certainly can can develop differentials and then uh to finish it off head back to our pitching uh our one speed i want to go up and in and down and away i want to exploit the speed gap in the batter's head and our hitter's head today exploit that speed gap as much as we can let them keep working on the adjustment mechanism okay so you heard me uh talk about going up going down nice drill for in the warm-up where we're lining it up right where we're starting at 100 percent and we're uh, i would start at 90 percent work down to 50 and then work our way back up okay and you're probably going to find out where we're at uh, you have your dynamic warm-up you have your torso burner and once again remember take as much time as you need we're not rushing into this we want to create feel 
we want to create understanding and so make sure that uh, make sure you're taking enough time all right so I know that these are numbered out that this is day 13 hey we're gonna go for a while don't worry about that and then once it happens you know we're just gonna repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat and typically it's uh, probably somewhere around a 30-day cycle okay so we're not in any any rush we just want to keep learning and the more that we do it the more nuance is created the more we understand so uh, please make sure that that you're taking your time doing this okay hey in the meantime in the meantime please check in in the um, description areas I will start plugging back in uh, some discounts from Oats Specialties for the torso burner okay so we'll, I'll get those hooked in and uh, in to the descriptions uh, please if you are enjoying this just give me a thumbs up that really helps me as I try to build this uh, if you have comments please leave them I will get to them and uh, in the meantime uh, keep working at it I will see you right back here again for day 14 absorption okay take care